Hey, so Jason Box here. I've been looking at this pattern of Arctic temperature relative to the lower latitudes in the United States. The eastern United States, as you know, has been much below normal for a lot of January and into February, while the west coast, California, and all the way up to Alaska has been well above normal temperatures. Well, there's more to it than that because Greenland and the Arctic Ocean have also been well above average for a lot of January and and um, some of February. And so this pattern is, is, is back and it, it's continuing. And, you know, the longer it keeps up, the more interesting this is going to be. So um, I think this story is unfolding. It's exciting in a way to, to see it and to think back on December of 2009, December 2010, when this pattern was bringing record-setting cold to places like um, uh, Northern Europe. And um, at the same time, Greenland and the Arctic are even as much as 20 Celsius above average. Um, right now for the month of January 2014, Greenland has been at least uh, 5 Celsius above normal um, from the, the last three weeks of January and then going into February with peak temperature departures from normal of about 9 Celsius or something like 20 Fahrenheit above normal. So real interesting. And the significance of that is that even though it's not melting, these warm temperatures are eroding the cold content of the snowpack in the ice and the, the tundra. That means there's fewer degrees of heating that are needed to bring that ice to the melting point once the warm season comes around. So um, significant what's happening right now in the Arctic and being felt, you know, kind of like this irony in, in the U.S. It's, it's cold in the eastern U.S. and and uh, it's very warm in the Arctic. That's the now kind of well-known warm Arctic cold continents pattern. And uh, let's, let's see how this unfolds.